All right, all you cool cats and kittens. I know that meme is like dead, even at the time of recording this. Uh, and people 10 years from now will, will wonder, what the hell is he talking about? That's okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, hell of a way to start a video. I'm Art Turlop, former instructor of 20,002, perhaps future instructor of 20,002. And this is, as I showed you before, the Ren2 Concertina. Um, actually, customer service was great. They were going to take it as a return, and I had already done all this crap to it. So I even got this side too. So we got the got the tricolor, very patriotic. If you're, you know, an Irish citizen, um, which I am not. Um, so <laughs> I don't know. I decked it out for St. Patty's Day. I've just kind of left it. Uh, anyway, I figured I should play you guys some tunes to show you that um, my ridiculous purchases are slightly justified maybe um maybe not and um what else oh yeah i'm getting ready to go to g for g so hopefully i'll make a video after that uh to show you guys all the cool goodies i pick up from there uh from all some of the uh, best puzzlers and mathematicians and magicians in the world i actually had leonard green you can look him up he's a uh he's the former world champion of close-up magic he bought me a beer one time at this thing and i am forever grateful to him for it um but he is just an awesome guy and there's tons of people like that there i've met john conway elwin burley camp uh and loads of other uh really interesting people at this uh, at this conference so i'm really looking forward to it although there will be some people missing uh this year anyway let's do some music okay I'm, I'm just talking too much all right so let's start with uh irish rover which is a song about a ship that's all decked out and sails out of ireland i presume and um i think it's cork and uh it it, it doesn't do so hot on its maiden voyage uh so anyway yeah let's let's uh let's do that one <laughs> Whoops. Let's try it again. too fast but you know uh this is about what we got uh let's do let's do some wellerman because i love that song <laughs> are tough to play and a little tricky but we'll, we'll do it one more time and then we'll move on little little burp in there all right, let's do uh, Spanish Ladies, which is about some British sailors, I think, leaving Spain and having to go back to England and uh, not wanting to do that. But it's a, it sounds, it's such a great song. And I'm pretty sure it's the inspiration for um, for the Pirates of the Caribbean song, which which I'll, I'll do that real quick first so you can kind of hear it. There we go. Maybe I won't do it. <laughs> you can tell I practiced this one a lot. Okay, so you, you know what I'm talking about anyway. All right, let's do the do the Spanish ladies. Again. 
There we are. We'll take it. We'll take it. All right. Um, what else do you guys want to hear? Uh, we got... Uh, I, I can kind of do part of this song, but I don't know how the rest of it goes, so we'll try it. Blow the man down. Good enough. I think that's the theme to Spongebob, but I'm not sure. Um, I don't watch much Spongebob. And my kids don't watch much Spongebob, so their brains won't turn into jelly. Uh, or porridge. Um, whatever. Anyway, uh, moving along. Uh, let's do something fun like Twinkle Twinkle. Okay. Uh, I probably should have started with that since you know I'm new to learning the instrument, but I didn't. I started with some sea shanties because... What is the point of having a concertina if you don't learn sea shanties, right? Uh, so let's do that. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. probably figure out itsy bitsy spider i think uh by request often uh from my kids so let's see if we can figure that out again today uh, there it is it's enough or d out there screaming at the screen right now telling me to play something what are you trying to tell me to play i don't know that song sorry yeah <laughs> um it, no I, I really don't know very many songs that i've only played for a couple months go back and look at the other videos it, it, it proves it um well what's oh yeah i kind of i've started trying to do um uh cass's theme i also got a haircut too uh and then i i shaved my beard too since last video that's about it um Oh, I've been working on some cool stuff. So we got the uh, we got some three D printers. Let me let me show you that first, and then we'll do uh, cast this theme a little bit. We'll take a break. Let's take a walk. Let's take a walk, shall we? Okay. So back here, yeah, this was vacant before. I've been trying to mess with some uh, some accordion reeds. Why you ask? Well, it's very interesting. So I made a discovery recently that has already been discovered, which I guess is called reinventing or um, not research, which is unfortunate. So let's talk about that, not research. Oh yeah, and I'm trying to build this uh, radio telescope kit from Inspire, um, which so far uh, has been pretty easy to do. So if you're interested, look these guys up. You can make your own radio telescope as well. This one's for my wife. Um, she's getting into all the astronomy stuff. We have too many hobbies. She bought sheep when I bought an accordion the other day and there's no one in control anymore. It's just, it's, there's a problem. Okay, so here, <laughs> here's, uh, three 3D printers. So this one is from my old lab, uh, the PNG group. This one, this one's called Garbage Goober. And Garbage Goober is called Garbage Goober because I found him in the garbage. Um, and then this guy here is the Maker Gear, which I love. Um, they're just a great company. Um, and they make a really good product. This thing is super durable. Um, the MakerBot, actually, I'm fairly impressed with so far. I didn't think that they were as good as they are. Um, but they're they're grand. They're absolutely grand. Okay, let's talk shop. So now that you're all dizzy and turned around um, ugh, Let me put you here. Can you see me? No. Yes, kind of. Okay, good enough. My computer's gonna fall down. Whatever. We'll figure it out. Okay 
How about here? This is cool. Okay, so let me show you something about accordion reeds and how this has already been invented. So an accordion reed, uh, I'll go grab one. Hang on, hang on. Okay, real quick, because YouTube's gonna get mad I have too long of a video. This is an accordion reed. This little thing here, it vibrates. And that's what causes the sound. I know, you're in a shelf, I'm sorry. All right, so I'm thinking to myself, hey, there's two vibrating pieces of metal next to each other. That sounds kind of familiar, sort of-ish. You've probably seen the metal plate thing in physics or whatever. Positive charges, negative charges. These two form capacitance. Yeah, good stuff. But what if this thing moves back and forth? Then the capacitance is changing over time. Well, if you rearrange the way these are oriented, you actually can create capacitance between the reed and the reed block. So here's my, my block. I'm just gonna draw one reed in there. There's a hole, okay? Here's the three deification. Boop. All right, now on top of this sits the reed. So the reed is pinned in here. There's the back of the reed, and then it sits over top of this thing, and it vibrates up and down. Why is this cool? Well, because if you positively, if you electrically insulate black from red here, and you charge one, and create a voltage difference, then you've effectively created a capacitor that is alternating uh, its capacitance. So actually, they've already invented these. I thought I might have invented the electric accordion just then, but I didn't, unfortunately. As it turns out, uh, Magnus made one back in the 60s. I was born way too late. Um, so here's how the Magnus works. It is a piece of metal, and, and it effectively looks like it was stamped or cut out of the other one here. And then this is, goes off and this goes off. This is flat, though, in this model. And so it produces a nicer, um, nicer sine wave-like waveform, because as you can imagine, going up or going down, those are going to be symmetric to each other, so the waveform is going to be symmetric already. Um, and also, there's not going to be too much of a, of a spike there as you would have going down into a well like you do with the uh, aluminum casing of an accordion reed. So that's kind of interesting. I think there's still a lot to be gained here by looking at accordion reeds and doing this, so I'm still working on trying to do that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I, uh, these sound really cool. You should look them up. I think they're called a Magnus something. Just look up Magnus Electric Piano, and that'll... Do, do more YouTubing and, and, and so forth. Okay, so that's that. And what's my time here? How many minutes? I'm at 13 minutes. So I'm gonna stop so that this video isn't super long. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll make another video in the near future talking about other cool stuff that I've been working on. Yeah, the guitar, not mine. That's Mark Bell's. <laughs> I don't play the guitar, but anyways. All right, see y'all later.